Hey everyone, to mark the fact that I've just brought a new DVD called Selection Secrets, I thought I'd give you a little taste of what's on that DVD to show you a little technique when you're trying to select something. Now, sharp-eyed people will discover, of course, that these coins are mostly Canadian with the odd US one thrown in. That's strictly coincidence, believe me, because it's just something I came off of iStock. So, I want to select this coin right here, and I I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool, of course. I'm going to roughly aim for the center, hold down Option or Alt, and drag outwards. And I might get fairly close, and even if I'm not fairly close, my initial inclination would be to use Transform Selection to try and get even closer. But one of the problems you often find is it's really hard to see how close you're getting as you move this just because of the relationship between the marching ants and the handle and so on. So another possibility is to take advantage of Quick Mask. Quick Mask is this button here where you just press Q on your keyboard and now you get a much better view. In fact, you can even make it more so if you want to go in. I just double clicked on the Quick Mask. Now I can go in and pump up the opacity so basically it's going to be a lot more focused on the object I'm selecting. So now if I just use regular free transform I get the same kind of handles but as you'll see now as I start tweaking it I find anyway it's much much easier to see what I'm doing because I can really see the edges a whole lot better and then you press enter when you're finished and of course press Q to get back out of quick mask and now you have the selection that you want. So. That's one half of it. The other half is I can continue to build on this same concept. In Quick Mask, I can make a selection. I can use Transform Selection in here and try to get fairly close to where I want. That looks pretty good. And then because I'm in Quick Mask, I need to basically treat this like would any mask. Black hides, white reveals. Well, in the case of Quick Mask, Black is deselected, white is selected. So if I now just fill with my foreground color, I press Option to lead on the Mac or Alt Backspace and then deselect. You can see now I have that coin selected and when I go out of Quick Mask I have both my coins selected so I can, for example, put them on a separate layer or whatever I wish. So just a very simple technique that involves Quick Mask and Free Transform. The more I use that I think you'll find that a very useful way to make selections for any purpose you want. I'm Dave Cross. If you turn sideways, you'll see. I will see you next time.